get some fresh air. It's cold out here. Getting fresh air in the cold? Yeah, it's not too bad. Ooh, shivering. Man. Yeah. What's on your mind? You seem like you. Jeremy talked to me because look, you you asked me to move back in and I'm here and you've just had this weird energy since I've been here. So what's what what gives? Honestly, I just I just want to set some <coughs> set some ground rules first. Okay, be my guest. I just feel like you know it's a lot of things that we haven't really had a chance to talk about, and uh, before we really get comfortable and and, and set in and, and stone, I think we need to go over. I'm I'm all ears, Jeremy. I'm I'm here. You asked me to move back in. You've had a weird energy. I just want this to be right. I want to make sure that we are making the right decision moving forward. X came by the house the other day. <coughs> mm -hmm. Sorry. Pardon me. <coughs> yeah. I'm sorry. What do you What do you mean? X X came by the other day. X X X. You know X. You know you know X very well. Jeremy, I I I I I wouldn't even know how X would even know that we lived here. I've I've never given him this address. I've never. I haven't even talked to X. So he just he just automatically knew the house to come to in flowers. So oh, sorry. Are you sure, Jeremy? Are you are you sure? Are you kidding? Like this? Are you? This is some kind of this, sick this, game this, you're playing. This, this is nothing to play with. All right. I, I, we literally got into a fight in the front yard. You fought X oh, in of the front yard. Oh, he came with flowers. I, he came with flowers. He, he he came to see how you were doing. Obviously, he said that your your best friend told him that you weren't Johnny. feeling well. And I don't know if she gave him the. I don't know how he got the address. No, I don't know, Jeremy. I'm I'm so, First of all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I maybe he. Maybe he got my information from the client profile at the gym. That's the only thing I can think of. I have, I promise you, I have never given that man this address. So he's, so he's never been here before. Jeremy, are you kidding? No. So you think I'm, I'm that low that I would have that man in your house, Jeremy? No, he's never been here. I swear. I understand. At, at this point, I'm not putting nothing past you, but I'm gonna just say this. It happened. Okay. We can leave it at that. He, he better not ever come Jeremy, back here again at, i look promise at me, you look at me in my eyes that man has never been in this house with me ever i didn't know he knew where we lived i've never given him our address i swear to you i'm sorry i can't believe that he would even come here i i with flowers what was he thinking i don't know but he left with him in his face lastly oh we're both healing yes right this is a this is a continued healing journey i'm still healing obviously you need to heal, <coughs> right? And, and, and I feel, you okay? Did you take your medicine? Yes, yes, yes. I, okay. yes. Like, I just think for now, it would be best if you stayed in the guest room, okay? I, I just feel like we need to heal separately and, and just kind of still get ourselves together. Obviously, I'm Jeremy, I here. own this house just like you own this house. I co-own this house and you are, you're, you're gonna confine me to a guest room, Jeremy, really? I understand. Why did you ask me to come back here? I was doing fine getting to know myself in my new space and filling my new space with my, my own energy. And you asked me to come back here. Well, you asked me to move in. And, and, and to be honest, I felt a lot better about asking you to move in prior to me finding out that your mom didn't know that you cheated, prior to X coming here. But, but now that all of that has happened, you're still here. I, I still want you to be around Ava. I still want to be able to help you cope, right? Because it, it, it's still a lot going on and I'm still very help sensitive. Help me. He's going to help me cope, Jeremy. Listen, I appreciate you asking me to move back in. I appreciate you being here for me and supporting me. But if I'm going to be made to feel like I'm your charity case, estranged wife with cancer, you can keep it. I don't want to be made to feel like I'm just some charity case that you, just, that you have to just help. If you genuinely want to support me, Jeremy, cool. I love that. We are still legally married. But I don't want to be feeling like I'm in a prison walking around here. I could have stayed at my new place. Okay. Well, obviously, if things get worse, you don't need to be by yourself. I don't want you to feel like a prisoner here. But I, I, I am telling you that it, it, it's just some stuff that we got to work through. And it, it may not be smooth. Look, go inside. It's too so cold. I need to get some water. That's fine. <coughs> You need to get inside too, it's cold. <laughs> I'll be alright. <laughs>